Tain Malang Malu. The bishop sat in lordly state and purple cap sublime and galvanised the old bush church at confirmation time. And all the kids were mustered up from 50 miles around with Sunday clothes and staring eyes and ignorance profound. Now was it fate or was it grace whereby they yarded to an overgrown two-storey lad from Tang Malang Malu. A hefty son of virgin soil where nature has her fling and grows the trefoil three feet high and mats it in the spring where mighty hills uplift their heads to pierce the welkin's rim and trees sprout up a hundred feet before they shoot a limb. There everything is big and grand and men are giants too, but Christian knowledge will sell us at Tang Malang Malu. The bishop summoned the youngsters up as bishops only can. He cast a searching glance around then fixed upon his man, but glum and dumb and undismayed through every bout he sat. He seemed to think that he was there, but wasn't sure of that. The bishop gave a scornful look, as bishops sometimes do, and glared right through the pagan in from Tang Malang Malu. Come tell me, boy, his lordship said in crushing tones of air. Come tell me why is Christmas Day the greatest of the year? How is it that around the world we celebrate that day and send a name upon a guard to those who are far away? Why is it that wandering ones return with smiles and greetings too? A squall of knowledge hit the lad from Tang Malang Malu. He gave a lurch which set a shake, the vases on the shelf. He knocked the benches all askew, upending of himself. And oh, how pleased his lordship was, and how he smiled to say, That's good, my boy, come tell me now, and what is Christmas Day? The ready answer bear the fact that no bishop ever knew. It's the day before the races out at Tang Malang Maloo.